Hello everyone, I am Pratiksha and welcome to my channel. In today's session, we are going to talk about Linux and VMware installation. So, this is our day first of the Linux bootcamp. So, let's start. First of all, you should understand what is Linux and why we are using it. So, there are three types of the operating system that is Windows, Unix and Linux. So, why we are not using the other operating system why, are, why we are using the Linux. So let's see the other operating system step by step. When we see the Windows, Windows has a user friendly, it is heavy and it is also not secure and it is expensive. Uh, you might say Pratiksha but I didn't, I didn't pay for the Windows so how can it be expensive? So many of the people don't realize that when they purchase a laptop, the cost of the operating system is already included in the price. Next, we will see the Unix. So, Unix is a secure, but it is a costly. So, the better choice is used to the Linux. Uh, Linux has many features, like uh, it is lightweight, it is free, and it is highly secure. So, and so better choice is used to the Linux. And additionally, uh, Linux has a many flavors uh, such as Red, that is Red Hat Enterprises of the Linux and Kali Linux, Amazon Linux, Ubuntu, etc. So what operating system you want to use, you can use it. When we use the uh, other operating system on the AWS, there are many options like there is a Red Hat Linux, there is Amazon Linux, there is Ubuntu, etc. So it's your choice what operating system you want to use. But now we are using the Linux. So now let's talk about the virtualization. So what is a virtualization? So using the virtualization, you can divide your physical server into the virtual server. Let me explain in more detail. Imagine uh, my laptop has a Windows operating system installed. So, can I install other operating system like Linux or Mac OS on it? So, the answer is no. Because it is not possible. But it's possible with the virtualization. Using the virtualization, we install the VMware to create the virtual environment well, we can turn the Linux or other operating system. And virtualization have two types. That is type A bare metal. And type B hosted. That is VMware. So, we use the type B that is VMware virtualization. So, why we are not using the type A? Because the uh, type A requires the installation on the bare metal. So, that is not the feasible here. And uh, type A is mostly used in the large scale industry setup. So, instead of using the type A, we are using the type B virtualization, which works on the top of the operating system and like the VMware running on the windows and now we will see the VMware workstation pro installation so for the VMware installation you need the license key and ISO file so I have I will provide uh, the both the ISO file and the license key in the description so I have created the day one folder this is day one folder in that this is a VMware workstation pro the firstly you have to uh, download it and when you are now uh, you, you have downloaded the VMware workstation pro uh, then you have to enter the license key if you enter the license key you will get the free lifetime access of the VMware workstation pro if you didn't enter the license key then you will get only the one month free access so you must enter the license key and this is the iso file 
that we will require when we create the virtual machine so now let's see when you uh, install that uh, VMware Workstation Pro then you will see this interface ok then click on here create a new virtual machine so this is there is a typical recommended and custom advanced so you will select the custom advanced because of now we are learning so click on next so here is a workstation size so it is a recommended size so don't change here here is a compatible products limitations etc so click on next so uh, here is a ISO file that we have to select so you must uh, create one folder and in that folder copy that ISO file and the ISO file is of the 8 GB so when you download that ISO file you must have the stable internet connection ok click on next then here you have to give the name of the machine so I am giving the rail machine you can give anything now you have to give the username so now I am giving the Pratiksha username the password confirm the password then click on next ok the username should have the low case ok click on next click on next so here is the process of configuration that is the number of processor number of core the total processor cores so this is a recommended so we don't have to change anything here so click on next so here is a memory of the virtual machine so you have to take at least 4 GB here because it's recommended and to run our server smoothly so choose so I have selected the 4 GB then click on next then here you have to choose the network address translation that is in that for the network connection click on the next this is LSL logic which is recommended so click on next so here is a disk type or oh, this is a NVMe is recommended but I am selecting the SATA because uh, SATA have uh, easy names and it have to uh, easy to read like it have the ESDA, ESDB so that's why I am selecting the SATA so click on next then create a new virtual disk click on next so here is the maximum disk size so the uh, 20 is recommended but I am selecting the 26 because to run our uh, server smoothly you don't have any bug so that's why so the click on next click on next so this is the, all the information that we have selected and here is a customized hardware option if you left anything then you can go here and you will change that you want so uh, finish so over VMware workstation so it's ready to run it takes some time so wait and uh, why we are uh, using the VMware workstation pro because uh, if you want to learn the Linux and you, if you want to do the practicals and you want to learn the basic commands of the Linux so uh, using that you can uh, learn using the VMware Workstation Pro and also the shell script files you can write here but uh, uh, if you, you can also use on the AWS but uh, when you use the AWS uh, in that you have to pay so uh, the, uh, the VMware Workstation Pro is uh, free so that's why we are the uh, using the VMware Workstation Pro and uh, 
uh, if you want to give the RSS exam uh, which is the uh, Red Hat Certified System Administrator or exam uh, which is the global certification that you want to use for that uh, you can also use that VMware Workstation Pro you can do the practicals here you can do the practice here so this is very useful so the our server is booty it takes some time so wait So uh, here is a language that you want to select. So I am selecting the English. So click on continue. it's taking some time so uh, here is a installation destination so click on here and done so if you want to select the time you can select here that is uh, uh, you can also click here on this map that is India map okay so then you will got the Asia Kolkata location so click on done okay here you have to root or uh, select the root password and you must remember that password because when we complete that uh, virtual machine then you have to enter that password to log in our virtual machine so must remember this password on uh, this uh, there is option lock root account allow root ssh login with password so uh, now we don't require this when we uh, learn the virtual machine then we will see that so click on done now user creation so i am creating the pratiksha user give the password and must remember that password confirm and done and the KDM so the KDM is the kernel crash that will catch the memory or uh, when uh, the system crash then KDM will capture the information of your system so uh, you have to unclick this now because uh, when we see in the manual uh, here it will take the 160 MB storage so for that we are unclicking but when you are on the organization or in any company then must click on this option okay but now for this storage we are unclicking here so click on done and the destination click on here done okay 
now all is done so begin the installation so the installation is starting it hardly take uh, 15 or 20 minutes so you must wait for the 15 or 20 minutes and after uh, that uh, after the 15 20 minutes uh, the your virtual machine will be created and you can try with uh, to log in with your root password you can write their username that is root and you can give their your password and you can log in on your virtual machine and you can try to do your practicals you can use their basic commands so now i am uh, now i am stopping uh, the first hour session and we will see in the next station uh, the basic commands of the Linux and how to uh, log in on the that virtual machine etc. So everyone you should uh, install that VMware Workstation Pro and I, I will provide uh, the necessary links or the license key or the ISO file or the VMware Workstation Pro in the description so must go through it and download that. So I hope uh, you enjoy the, this video. So don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Uh, if you have any doubts, drop me in the comment. Then I will definitely reply to you all. So thank you so much. Have a great day.